Hi everybody, this is Tim from Cutting Edge Trading in the UK. I'm here to show you the latest version of the Flytouch Android tablet. This is the Flytouch 7. It has a different uh, home screen, as you can see, and it boots faster than the Flytouch 6 in just 25 seconds, which is considerably faster than its predecessor. It has the same general case and layout as the Flytouch 6, so anyone who's familiar with the Flytouch family will recognize the buttons and the location of the buttons. Uh, it comes in various hard disk drive sizes, 8GB, 12GB or 20GB, not 16GB this time, but uh, 8, 12 or 20. But it has a different CPU from the Flytouch 6. It has an all-winner A10 CPU, which is actually a 1.5GHz processor, but the firmware um, restricts it to 1GB at the moment. I'm not sure why. I'm looking at if we can overclock that. Um, there are a few other differences. The camera's been improved. It's now a 1.3 megapixel camera as opposed to a 0.3 megapixel camera in the Flytouch 6. And there are a couple of other nice things as well if I can show you here in settings. You can see that they've uh, put in an accelerometer coordination system so you can change the settings of the G-Sensor and accelerometer to use it in games and also the screen size because some screens uh, sizes aren't suitable for all games so you can adapt that so it makes it more flexible and more compatible with games. Uh, I thought I'd show you one or two of the things that you can do with this device. Um, firstly the Play Store is fully working so if I can find that it's here. Here you have the Google Play Store which is the new name for Android Market. So if we go into Apps and do a quick search for Angry Birds you'll see that all the versions of Angry Birds do crop up. So you've got Angry Birds, Rio, Space, Seasons, but you've also got the paid apps as well. So you've got the Angry Birds Space HD down here. Anything else I can show you is that iPlayer is working. So if I go to the BBC iPlayer website, it works in the browser, not the app again, but it's good that it is working. So if we get iPlayer up and running here, To make it work, we have to select the desktop option. By default, it emulates iPad, but that doesn't work with iPlayer. And then we can see iPlayer is coming on. So we can watch uh, an episode of EastEnders here. And you can see that's working fine. Okay, I also show you YouTube working. Here we have the trailer for Prometheus. I should have made that full screen. See again, that's working perfectly well. And the device will also play video pretty nicely as well. So let me find a video I was watching earlier. You can see the video quality is very good. Uh, it plays games as you would expect, so Angry Birds is working, all variants of Angry Birds, so just to show you a little bit of that. Here we have Angry Birds. Part of that. We 
they have Angry Birds working fine. One of the games I wanted to show you here is a game called Crazy Kart Racing. It's a little bit like Mario Kart, um, but it uses the device to steer, so I just wanted to demonstrate that that does work. Go another quick race. See that you can steer using the device itself. Obviously, try not to crash into the wall. Um, last thing I was going to mention that the the video that I was showing you earlier on, you can use HDMI output to play that on a TV. It's a uh, 2160 output, so uh, an improvement on the Flytouch 6. The last thing I wanted to tell you about this device is that on the Antutu benchmarking system it scores 44% higher than the Flytouch 6 so the processor and the hardware plus the firmware it's running make it a considerably faster and smoother device as you can see from perhaps moving between the screens here than its predecessor. You can buy this device from ourselves Cutting Edge Trading at www.cuttingedgetrading.co.uk and thanks for watching.